find it hard to explain the reasons why I make the different sorts of music that I make. I'm consciously trying not to think about it because when you hear a track that you love, it's not like a thought process of why you love it, you just love it. I decided to move to Brixton because it just feels familiar. Everyone from my school used to come here at weekends to go raving to drum and bass in, in mass. It was the first place I went out and like heard club music, like for real. I started listening to jazz and soul, got into hip hop because of the samples that, was, that were borrowed from that music, and then into electronic music because of the production side of it, and it eventually it kind of ended up in club music. The first person I ever saw use an MPC was RJD2. Uh, and he played it live. I went to a gig in Paris and, and uh, I'd, I'd already like fallen in love with his album Dead Ringer, um, which was the thing that made me want to start producing in the first place. Uh, so yeah, he was the guy. But I've never actually learned how to produce on an MPC. It's the easiest way to do electronic music live, but I much prefer taking my time on something on a computer. I'm trying never to use a laptop live even when it comes to performing my own stuff, just because it, I don't like the way that it looks when you're standing on stage looking at a laptop. You could be doing anything. I want to try and make some instrument with a company, maybe Akai, who make the MPC, that, that kind of makes things a bit more human in terms of performance. I have some ideas about how to do it, but it's just all up in my head at the moment. So I hadn't considered performing my own stuff live for a while because I have to make more of my own music first. The majority of the stuff that I'm working on now is the XX stuff. We're just about to start recording. Hopefully we'll get it done in time to be able to do festivals next year, because that's the most fun. As with everything with the XX, I try and keep it simple. So I just use Logic and a Space Echo and a bunch of preamps and occasionally some Casios. Most of the drum sounds that I make are samples, like layered, like 10 different samples from 10 different funk tracks or something, um, but I don't really like just taking something and putting it, putting it in as is. There's like a bunch of disco records which just sound incredible. I've never been able to achieve that like quality of just like the sound of a snare or something. That's, that's what I aspire to do. We've all come back off tour and kind of been partying a little bit more. We left when we were 17 and missed out on that chunk of our lives when everybody else was playing. Um, so club music has definitely had an influence on the next record. I've kind of had some dream collaborations in the past year. The ones that I've enjoyed the moments of like realization that I'm making something good were the Florence one, the Adele one, uh, and by the end of the album, the Gil one. When I'm doing a remix, I usually try and think of it as like just sampling a track that I love and, and working around that rather than thinking about the artist too much. Because Gil was such a big deal in my life before I even started making music, my parents had played him as I was growing up and one of my art teachers in secondary school kind of reintroduced me to his stuff. So it was a real honour to be asked to do that. There were a few tracks on there that I'd taken from his earlier recordings from the 70s and he wasn't too sure about putting them on something that was about being new. I wanted it to be kind of half about him and half about me since it was kind of a collaboration and I wanted to show his influence from his earlier work on me, which is why I put them in uh, and then he was fine with it. There's been so many highlights, it's completely unbelievable. Like when I stop to think about everything that's happened and how lucky I am, it's kind of hard to, to believe. 
One of the highlights was playing at Shepherd's Bush Empire because it's a venue that we all grew up with and it's beautiful and, and the gig just went perfectly and just one of those things where everything comes together and it was amazing. And playing at Coachella as well last year um, with the sun setting and Beyonce and Jay-Z in the front singing along and 50,000 people all kind of enjoying your music. It was madness. I never thought I would enjoy standing up in front of 5,000 people and, and them all being focused on me. Um, but actually, when I don't think about it and I just go out there and do it, it's the best time ever. Thank you.